Welcome to our channel, watch the video until the end, leave a like and subscribe to support us. Black holes are by far the most terrifying objects in space. The discovery of an ultra-massive black hole sends shivers down not just scientists' spines, a gigantic cosmic devourer that combines more than a billion solar masses existed so early in our universe. Researchers are slowly realizing that these giants play a much more significant role in the universe than previously thought. What changes now that we know black holes existed before the first galaxies, and that these black holes were not tiny like an atom, but contained several billion solar masses? Let's take a journey into the most powerful, dangerous, and yet smallest black holes in the universe. Few people are aware of the variety of these objects in the cosmos. Even fewer know that researchers consider these black giants as key objects for understanding the entire cosmos. Before the first black hole was definitively confirmed, they were considered pure constructs of mathematical formulas that initially appeared as completely collapsed objects of enormous size in Albert Einstein's equations of relativity. In the 1960s, scientist John Archibald Wheeler first coined the term black hole, and from the discovery of the first black hole Cygnus X1, we know for sure that these monsters really exist. For a long time, scientists thought black holes were exclusively the remnants of collapsed stars. This also made sense according to Einstein's equations, which concluded the existence of giants only because, in his view of the cosmos, large, completely collapsed objects had to be the logical conclusion of other already known objects. If a star dies, it explodes in a supernova, provided it is of a certain size. What results is a rapidly spinning neutron star or a black hole. Neutron stars are objects with measurable and highly observable properties, but there are still many mysteries and unsolved riddles surrounding black holes. The black holes that remain as relics of dead stars have a size of about 520 solar masses. The first true black hole ever discovered, Cygnus X1, is a good example of this category and has about 15 solar masses. It is now an almost ancient and well-studied astronomical object. Intermediate mass black holes reach impressive sizes of 110,000 solar masses. Here too, they easily reach the limits of our imagination. An impressive example of these sizes is HLX1 in the galaxy ESO24349 with about 10,000 solar masses. This black hole probably grew to these immense sizes, thanks to the merging of several stellar black holes. Let's move on to the royal class of these extraordinary objects. Supermassive black holes combine millions or billions of solar masses. Imagine our sun weighs about 2,000 trillion kilograms. A supermassive black hole thus weighs about 30,000 trillion kilograms on average. These black holes are impressive cosmic objects, and we find one right at the center of our Milky Way, Sagittarius A weighs about 4 million solar masses, and M87, at the center of the galaxy, M87 is even larger, with a whopping 6.5 billion solar masses. But there are even bigger and more dangerous black holes in the universe. Researchers could hardly believe that supermassive black holes could be surpassed, but it is a reality. In the cosmos, there are ultra-massive black holes that combine up to 40 billion solar masses. With about 66 billion solar masses, Ton 6118 is one of the most terrifying examples of this category. This black hole is located at the center of a powerful quasar in the constellation Canis Venatici, about 10 billion light-years from Earth. The galaxy itself has not yet been directly seen by researchers, as its light is overshadowed by the enormous brightness of the central quasar, likely due to a gigantic accretion disk surrounding the ultra-massive black hole. The matter contained in this disk is in the process of being extinguished and shines thousands of times brighter than all the stars in the galaxy combined. But this is not at all everything our universe has to offer in terms of black holes. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope made a spectacular discovery at the edges of the universe. A black hole so old and so large that it could have come from a previous universe. This black hole has survived the cosmic collapse. Who would have thought that these breathtaking discoveries would lead to a complete revolution in our scientific perspective? When the James Webb Telescope first pointed its high-precision instruments into space in the summer of 2022, it immediately came across a sensation. Galaxies so ancient and majestic that they took the researchers' breath away. But James Webb's cutting edge and extremely sensitive light technology not only detected the oldest galaxies ever discovered, 
but also an inexplicable black hole that could forever change our understanding of the universe. Within the galaxy GNZ-111, a black hole was discovered that is one of the most elusive, ultra-massive black holes imaginable. Anyone with even a basic knowledge of physics or who regularly watches our videos knows that a galaxy with this redshift value, z 11 is 13.4 billion light-years away from us. This also means that it is nothing short of a miracle that such an old galaxy already has a black hole of such massive size at its center. GNZ-11 appears old from our perspective, but 13.4 billion years ago the galaxy was still very young. The Big Bang occurred just 400 million years earlier. The quasar was discovered in 2016 by the Hubble Space Telescope and was subsequently examined in more detail by James Webb. From Hubble, researchers initially weren't sure if the data could be correct. The high redshift of ZIAW-11 seemed surreal as researchers had never speculated that galaxies formed in this era of space. The galaxy itself, the quasar, and the black hole at the center have been confirmed by Webb's new measurements. A galaxy already bright and magnificent so soon after the Big Bang is already a curiosity, but a black hole weighing several billion suns is a miracle. How could this black hole have reached such enormous sizes just 400 million years after the Big Bang? To reach these dimensions, it would have had to be born large or devour matter five times faster than was thought possible in the young universe. Yet, there couldn't have been matter in the form of stars according to researchers' models. A black hole would have needed several billion years to reach these sizes. A black hole the size of an atom. We've seen the real giants and ideals of black holes that are so large and powerful they surpass all our mathematical formulas. But what about the smaller black holes, black holes as small as an atom? Did you know that atom-sized black holes exist? Here's how researchers envision primordial black holes. These tiny fluctuations might have been created right after the Big Bang, initially the size of an atom. They were probably distributed throughout the universe and merged during cosmic evolution. First, some of these tiny particles merged to form slightly larger black holes. Then these merged with others, and later, these black holes might have encountered the remnants of the first extinct stars. This has been the picture of black hole growth in the cosmos until now. However, the existence of GNZ-11 challenges these models. It appears that black holes existed much earlier and in sizes previously incomprehensible. A person who might be able to explain the existence of these black giants at the edges of the universe is British researcher Roger Penrose. In 2015, the renowned astrophysicist presented a theory on a cyclic universe in which one universe merges into the next at the end of a cycle. Gigantic black holes sucked in almost all the matter of the universe. Then there's a collapse a physically indescribable stasis, followed by a bang from which a new universe emerges. As an extension of this fantastic theory, it is possible that the black holes left at the end are the midwives or the birthplace of the new universe. It's crazy, right? However, the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope are currently giving immense importance to these theories. Our old cosmology is no longer able to explain what we see in the cosmos. Do black holes really get created in Geneva? Yes, they do. Researchers at CERN in Geneva have confirmed that in their experiments with the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, small black holes can be created. These form when particles collide at very high speeds in an underground ring. The collision of streams of opposite particles leads to fascinating phenomena in matter studied at the LHC, and for tiny fractions of a second, black holes are also created. However, these black holes have so far been predicted only theoretically. They have not yet been proven with certainty. And if they really exist, they disintegrate so quickly that they pose no danger. Critics of the project argue, however, that perhaps we are not fully able to understand the effects that these small black holes might actually have. They believe the experiments at the particle accelerator are risky and even feared that unnoticed dimensional rifts might open that could dangerously change our reality. For a long time, it was thought that black holes could be wormholes or tunnels to other worlds or dimensions. Nowadays, these theories are largely considered outdated or refuted. An Einstein-Rosen bridge is a theoretical concept describing hypothetical connections between different points of the space-time continuum. Other scientists speculate that black holes in a mirror or parallel universe might act as white holes, recycling the matter that is sucked in. In practice, no one knows exactly what happens inside a black hole. In theory, 
we know it is a point of infinite density, which is mathematically difficult to comprehend. The matter contained in black holes must be processed or stored somehow, since quantum physics has established that matter in our universe can be broken down only into its informational components, but can never be completely destroyed. Thus, black holes collect vast amounts of information inside them. If so, it would be intriguing to find out what happens to these informations. Perhaps Roger Penrose was right in suggesting that black holes might be something akin to the custodians of the universe. As matter runs out, they store the information of the cosmos, and when a new cycle begins, they spit out all these informations from which new stars and galaxies are born. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel now and join us for every new video.